I forced an AI to create its own Ninjago season and sets for 2023. Here's how it went. First, I asked it to come up with the setting for the season. The AI's output was that the 2023 Ninjago season is set in a post-apocalyptic world where the ninjas must fight to survive against the evil forces that have taken over. The ninjas are split up into teams and must use their skills to defeat the enemy and save the world. Okay, so we've decided that our setting is post-apocalyptic. Next, I asked it to pick a main character. So I asked the AI who will be the focus character of the 2023 Ninjago season set in the post-apocalyptic world. However, the AI said that there is no focus character for the 2023 Ninjago season. The season will instead focus on the ninja team as a whole as they attempt to survive in the post-apocalyptic world. However, individual episodes may focus on specific characters as they face challenges and obstacles. But I wanted a bit of a better answer than this. So then I told it to pick a ninja to appear on the box art for the 2023 Ninjago sets. And it chose Kai. Okay, and the main villain apparently will be General Kozu. He's back. The main villain is a warlord named General Kozu. He is a ruthless leader who will stop at nothing to conquer the world. He is aided by an army of loyal followers with a powerful weapon called the Sword of Fire. His army is known as the Fire Nation and they are a force to be reckoned with. Okay, so Kozu's back, he somehow got the Sword of Fire, and he's got a new army. Not what I was expecting, but sure, yeah, I could see that happening in 2023. Why not? But I want more detail on what the Fire Nation is, so I asked it to describe the followers of Kozu's new army. Are they human, snakes, some warriors, something else? And the AI decided that the followers of General Kozu are a mix of human and snake warriors. They are incredibly strong and fast, and they are very loyal to their leader. They will stop at nothing to achieve his goals. That's actually kind of an interesting concept, a combination of snakes and humans. I'd actually kind of like to see that in a new Ninjago season. And then I asked, what is General Kozu's motivation? And the AI decided that General Kozu's motivation is to conquer the world and rule it over with an iron fist. He wants to be the most powerful person in the world, and he will do whatever it takes to achieve this goal. And then one final thing before we actually get the AI to write a script and come up with LEGO sets, I'm going to ask it to describe the new side characters who will aid the ninja in the 2023 Ninjago season. I also gave the information that's already outputted, so it remembers that this is all the same season. The new side character is a young girl named Nia who is Kai's sister. She's a skilled warrior and is able to help the ninja in their fight against Kozu and the Fire Nation. Not exactly what I was looking for. Let's see if I just put in there is also... A new character named Jay. Not, also not what I was looking for. What if I remove the word side and just say new characters? Okay, it took a lot of tries for the AI to output something that wasn't just the current existing Ninjago character. But I've been put in the new character is a young boy. Then it comes up with Ash, who is a shrewd urchin who has been living on his own since he was orphaned at a young age. He is a skilled fighter with a natural affinity for fire. He joins the ninja in the fight against Kozu and his army. Now there is already another Ninjago character named Ash, but you know what, we can have two Ashes. I think we're gonna go with this. It's good enough. So these are our notes. Now let's get a script made. Write a script for the upcoming 2023 Ninjago season. So I asked the AI for a script, gave it all the details that we have, and here's what it output. Kai and his friends are the only ones that can stop Kozu and his army. They must use their ninja skills and powers to defeat Kozu and save the world from his tyranny. The team is gathered in a dark, dank cave. There's a small fire burning in the center of the room, the only light comes from the entrance of the cave. Everyone, we need to come up with a plan to stop Kozu. He's becoming more powerful every day and we're running out of time. I say we just go out there and fight him head on. We can't let him win. Lloyd, that's too dangerous. We need to find a way to stop him without getting ourselves killed. I might be able to help with that. Who are you? My name is Ash. I'm a street archer with fire powers. I've been following you guys for a while and I want to help you stop Kozu. Well, Ash, we could use all the help we can get. Welcome to the team. I've been working on a plan. I think we can use our powers to create a giant tornado. It will be strong enough to destroy Kozu's army. Zane, that's brilliant, but how are we going to get close enough to Kozu to use our powers? He's always surrounded by his army. I have an idea. Ash, can you create a diversion? Sure thing, Kai. Everyone else, get ready to use your powers, so we'll create a tornado right in the middle of Kozu's army. I'm on it. Ash creates a giant fireball and throws it into the air. The explosion is so bright and loud that it distracts Kozu's army long enough for kind his friends to create the tornado. The tornado is so strong that it destroys Kozu's army and sends him flying into the air. He falls to the ground with a thud and doesn't get up again. We did it! We stopped Kozu! But we couldn't have done it without you, Ash. It was nothing. I'm just glad I could help. Well, Ash, you're officially part of the team now. Welcome aboard. That's actually... that's pretty good. That's a lot better than I expected from an AI. There's actually a story here. We have a side character that's introduced. Well, we have an enemy defeated. Kinda wish there was more Kozu stuff here, but you know what? This works. This is our... this is the plot of our new Ninjago season. So I think that's gonna be it for the story side, but now, of course, we need to come up with the sets. So I'm going to give the AI the same details I gave it for that last bit, but I also need to put a set here as an example just to show it how the set should be formatted. So I'm just going to come up with something off the top of my head. We'll say set 71789. I don't know if that's an official set number yet, but that'll work. And we'll call it something like Jay's Thunder Car. For price, we'll say like, I guess, 999. Uh, we'll give it 90 
four pieces and two minifigures. Post Apocalyptic J and a snake villain. All right, and I think that's good. So let's press submit and see what other sets the AI is gonna generate for us. Okay, so so far it seems like we're just getting the names of existing sets, which uh, okay, sure, let's let's continue. Okay, so we've run into an issue. It seems like uh, it seems like the bot doesn't really want to come up with its own set names, but it is giving us our own custom minifigures. This is pretty epic, though. We have a set for every ninja. Maybe though, let's add a let's add a set for the villains. We'll say seven one seven nine five Fire Nation, and then we'll let the AI fill in the rest. Okay, interesting. So that's actually that's actually a new set there. Okay, actually, I want to redo these. I want to come up with sets that are completely unique and are not just like old set names. So in fact, let's get rid of Jay's Thunder Car, and we're just going to say Jay's Thunder Blank. We'll keep Fire Nation Fortress. Okay, let's come up with a prefix that's not used in any official sets. We'll say Electro Thunder. I know that doesn't make much sense, but maybe that'll give us something new. Okay, Electro Thunder Jet. Uh, General Chopper Bike, nope, we have that one. Earth Driller, we have that one. So we'll say Lloyd's Green Energy something. Let's see. Dragon, nope, we, we actually have that one. Green Power Dragon, okay, sure. Lloyd's Green Power Dragon. How about Cole's Ground... Cole's Ground Assault? Sure. Ooh, Nia's Iron Doom. Um, We'll keep that one. That's a weird combination of uh, multiple sets. Uh, how about Zane's Frozen something? Zane's Frozen Dragon, that works for me. Uh, so we have a J, Lloyd, Cole, Nia, and Zane set. We actually don't have a Kai set, and he's supposed to be the main character this season. So we'll do 71795, Kai's Fiery? Let's see what it gives us. Another dragon. What about Flaming? Nope, still dragon. What about red fire? Still dragon. Alright, it seems like it just wants to give us dragons, so we're gonna keep Kai's fiery dragon. Even though we just got two fire dragons two years in a row, I guess we can get a third one. And then finally, we'll make one more set, 71796, which is a 4 plus Ash's elemental dragon. Interesting, okay, that's kind of cool. Which includes post-apocalyptic Ash and Kai. So now let's go through all these sets. We have 71795 Fire Nation Fortress, which will be $130, 1,679 pieces and 8 minifigures, and the 8 minifigures are post-apocalyptic General Kozu, Kai, Lloyd, Nia, Zane, Jay, Cole, and Ash. So you get the main villain as well as all 6 ninja and the new side character. Jay's Electro Thunder Jet is going to be $40 with 477 pieces and 3 minifigures, post-apocalyptic J, Cole, and Ash. Lloyd's Green Power Dragon is going to be $60 with 812 pieces and 4 minifigures, post-apocalyptic Lloyd, Kai, Nia, and Ash. And I'm now realizing there's no villains in any of these sets except for the biggest one. Whoops. Let's just imagine there's some villains in there, because were, they were generating them initially, but it looks like they just sort of forgot to generate any more villains. We have Cole's Ground Assault, which is going to be $20 and 157 pieces, and that comes with Cole and Ash. Jeez, it seems like, a yeah, Ash literally comes in every single set. That's really funny. I know he's a new side character, but do we do we really need him in every single set? <laughs> uh, Nia's Iron Doom, which is such a powerful name for a set, and that comes with post-apocalyptic Nia, Lloyd, Jay, and Ash. Then we have Zane's Frozen Dragon, which is $60, 854 pieces, and that comes with post-apocalyptic Zane, Kai, Cole, and Ash. Kai's Fiery Dragon, which is also $60, 882 pieces, and that comes with four minifigures, post-apocalyptic Kai, Lloyd, and Nia, and Ash, and then finally the 4 plus Ash's Elemental Dragon, which is $20, 157 pieces, and that's two minifigures, post-apocalyptic Ash, and Kai. Yeah, definitely not the most balanced wave, I think we definitely need uh, more, um, more variety in the minifigures here, I don't think we need seven Ash minifigures. And I think more villains might be nice. Let's just imagine half of these ashes are just generic villains. But now that we have the descriptions of these sets, let's see what they actually look like. So I'm here on Dolly Mini. This is a different AI. I'm sure you guys have seen it on like Instagram and Twitter recently. And this makes AI generated images. So I'm going to describe these sets to this AI and hopefully it'll show us what these sets would look like. So first let's try the Fire Nation Forgers. This is a lot of text. Let's see if it works. Okay, so generated nine different images and we'll pick our favorite one. 
They're obviously very blurry and not perfect, but they give you the general shape of like what this set would look like. Just imagine this was leaked on Instagram or something, right? I think I'm going to go with either this one or this one. This one seems to be a little more substantial of a build, so we'll save this one as the Fire Nation Fortress. Alright, next let's get Jay's Electro Thunder Jet. Alright, here are the images for this set. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this one. This looks like the most $40 looking set. Both of these are alright, but this seems like it has too many figures for what we described. This though, um, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at, but this, this is our Jay's Electro Thunder Jet. Alright, next let's get Lloyd's Green Power Dragon. Okay, interesting. I'm actually impressed by how distinct all these generations look. Yeah, here are all the different images of, like, potential sets. I think this one's probably the best one. It looks the most like an actual creature. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one for our Lloyd's Green Power Dragon. Alright, now let's see Cole's Ground Assault. Now, this is only supposed to be a $20 set, so we probably have to pick the one that looks the smallest out of the, uh, generated images. Okay, let's take a look at our Cole's Ground Assault sets. Interesting. These all look like mostly figure sets with a bunch of side builds. Hmm. I think I might have to go with this one, because this actually seems to have some sort of build. There's definitely a lot of loose things here, like this looks like maybe five minifigures when it's only supposed to have two. But I think this looks the most cohesive as a set, while the rest just look like minifigure, like battle packs. So yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Alright, now I'm very curious to see this one. We have Nia's Iron Doom. Okay, let's see Nia's Iron Doom. Interesting. So this is just tons of little side builds and minifigures. None of these builds seem that substantial. And this is supposed to be a $60 set with 850 pieces. This one seems okay, maybe. This one's not great, but like, looking at the box art, that's maybe a giant mech. But it is like a bunch of tiny things. Maybe it's like, maybe we can imagine this is like the Bone Demon from, uh, from Monkey Kid. And it's a bunch of small parts that combine into one big set that you see right here. Um, no. Definitely not. Definitely not. So I think it's gonna have to be this one from Nia's Iron Doom. I don't love it, but it's gonna have to do. Alright, now let's see Zane's Frozen Dragon. Okay, whoa, these actually look kinda cool. Alright, not sure what's going on there. Ooh, I like that one. I like this one a lot. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Cause that, like, that looks like a really cool dragon shape. Yeah, I like this one a lot. So this is gonna be Zane's Frozen Dragon. Alright, then we have Kai's Fiery Dragon. Alright, let's take a look at these. Okay, interesting. I kinda like this one. There's like two dragons here. It looks like maybe they'd combine to make one big dragon up here. That might be fun. And I like this guy with the side build and everything. Oh, I like this one too. These are actually pretty good. The big like horn coming out the side is really cool. It looks like maybe there's an alternate head that you can swap out. Okay, I think I actually want to go with this one. So this is going to be Kai's Fiery Dragon. Alright, and then finally let's see the 4 Plus Ashes Elemental Dragon. And all of these look way too complex for a, uh, <laughs> for a 4 Plus set. But let's take a look anyway. Yeah, these are all like really big. <laughs> hmm. What do we go with then? Maybe this? This doesn't look that big. I could see this maybe being a 4 plus dragon. Or like this one. I kind of like this one. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Legacy Golden Dragon. Or this thing's kind of very funny. But I think we'll go with this one. None of them are great, but this is probably the best looking one. And that's about it for the sets, but one final thing with the image generator, let's make a poster for the season. So I put in some details, and let's press generate. Okay, interesting, interesting. Alright, some of these are not great, but I'm between this one and this one. I kind of like this one, this seems more poster-like, but Kai is a bit more clear on this one. And you can see like the fire in the background. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one for our poster. Oh, and I also asked the AI to come up with a name for this season, and it came up with Ninjago the Fire Nation. So that's the name of my season. And there you go, there is my custom Ninjago season completely generated by an AI. Or I guess two AIs. We have the story, General Kozu got the Sword of Fire and he's coming back, but there's a new side character named Ash, even though we already have a different side character named Ash, but there's a new one, and he's here to help save the day. And we have a list of sets and all the minifigures. Very, uh, very interesting. Now, do I think this would make for a good season? No, probably not. But honestly, I think it's just really impressive that an AI was able to do all of this by itself. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this custom season in the comments below. Would you buy these sets? 
How would you improve this? If you enjoyed this video, go check out my video about the time when I was 12 years old and I made a fake Lego girlfriend. That's a very funny story and I put a lot of effort into making that video. So if that sounds interesting to you, go check it out by clicking the card in the top right corner. But as for this video, I think it's about gonna do it. So thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed, please press like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do Lego and Ninjago videos just like this one almost every day. So if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you in the next one. Bye.